Kilo Jefe coming at you with an H, everybody. We have my tequila dog over here, tequila Snickles. All right, she's actually the best kind of sewer out of everybody, right? She doesn't drink none of it. <laughs> That's funny. All right, everybody, thanks for subscribing to my channel. All my crazy peeps out there that I meet in our journeys. Super cool, thank you very much. And make sure you like and feel free to share it out there. So Tequila Jefe is bringing his audience uh, an experience in tequila and just my true taste. I do a little research, you know, but I like to let my palate actually do the talking. So, all right, um, we're gonna dive right into this, all right? So I was at Total Wine uh, a little while ago and I go in and you know they know tequila jefe and so this guy was like hey if you like that one you probably like this El Padrino and I'm like yeah man I'll try it so so they had they had all of them you know and I, I like I kind of gravitate towards those Aneos and extra Aneos tequila jefe but um, so I'm like I tried the Reposado, and I'm like, well, the Reposado is good. I'll just dive in, and I'll go for the, the uh, extra Nejo. So, by the way, El Padrino de mi tierra means the godfather of our land, okay? That's what it means. All right, so I went to go do some research because I like to tell you all about, you know, the family, the artisans, how long they've been around, and all that I can find is that this is a tequila that is made specifically for Total Wine. In other words, Total Wine went to Elisco and said, I want to have my own tequila brand and they've got a lot of money. So they basically bought into a contract distillery. In this contract distillery, it's NOM number 1438, okay? There's like... 75 tequilas, all right, which I have heard of like none of them, okay? So that nom number is very important. We can talk about that another day. All tequilas have a nom number on the back. You can go look it up, kind of find out where other some tequilas have been made. You'll be surprised. Uh, so many good tequilas are made at the same place. So anyway, straight into it. I sit there, uh, it was the Reposado and I, and I got this and um, you know, I like natural agave flavor, okay? I don't like a lot of additives. A tequila should actually, when I say it's full body, people laugh, you know? In other words, it's gonna be a little strong. A tequila should have like a little aftertaste. It shouldn't just be like sip and it's just gone. There should be something that kind of stays with you in your tequila sipping, all right? So, um, we're gonna just jump into this, okay? Um, and so it's, uh, so again, they promote this a lot. If you go into Total Wine, they usually do are doing this and you know, they won a lot of awards because they, Total Wine paid for the awards, okay? It is what it is. So, so you can smell right away. Usually what I like to do is when I do this, I can usually smell like the agave, you know, I can smell like the, um, you know, the white oak barrel, okay? And I, I smell van vanilla and caramel, okay? Let's, uh, let's check it out. All right. So they've got this little pendant on here. Again, no history uh, on the internet. Like the family's been around since 1936. Gonzalez, 1936. I told you all about. So let's see. Ooh. So, so what? It probably wouldn't be terrible if they didn't kill it with like a bunch of alcohol. So you can't even, it absorbs all of the, the flavors, like there's some wood flavor in here, but it's really strong, everybody. This is, listen, if you're a fan, you know, we all have different taste buds and I've told everybody, you know, it's what you like, you know, and I'm just bringing some experiences to you. So um, this is about $89 for the extra. 
<laughs> you know, sometimes we have production fails. <laughs> there was a production fail. <laughs> but I think it goes along with what we're talking about. El Padrino is a production fail. Sorry guys, but that is Tequila Jefe coming at you with an H. This one is not one of the favorites. So anyway, love y'all. And uh, Tequila Jefe with an H for now, out.